you know, uh, I've been doing a series on on the deception, uh, and I've calculated uh, a number of groups uh, which are being deceived, right from those who are non-believers to those who believe in many other spiritual things and many gods, and to those that believe in one God and many religions and uh, and those even those who believe in one God, there's those that believe in Jesus, the only way uh, to God. But then there's cults within that where you find uh, some special man of God who has become the mediator, and the people follow him rather than they follow Christ, and they they're manipulative and they do all these sort of things that are contrary to the word of God. And after that, we have. Uh, even among us, the Protestants, uh, there's still some other group that is very religious. That is group number four. It's it's very religious. It's very it's like the Pharisees of our time. Uh, they believe in legalistic stuff, and no, oh, do not this. They love these messages of holiness and whatever. And what they do under the uh, behind closed doors. It's the contrary. They like to put these pictures of, of perfection on the outside, but on the inside, they are very wicked people, and they don't help people. They want to just accuse and make people feel better or feel worse about themselves. So, you know, and they don't. They, most importantly, they do not accept the grace message, which is um, the main message of of the Bible, because Jesus said that you must go and preach the good news, and then throw out. The whole New Testament. That's what the apostles have been preaching, the good news of the kingdom of God, you know. But now, I'm coming to this last group, uh, which is very important, um, which is the reason why I've actually started this series, which is men where where many of us are. Many of us are stuck. We have heard the good news, the gospel the real gospel of the good news of the grace of Jesus Christ, that God has loved us so much and has given us Jesus Christ to redeem us um, and to, 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 forgive, to get us forgiven our sins so that we can go to him freely, not because of what we do. But then the problem now ends that we are made to be content about that, that we are going to heaven, which is another false uh, 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 issue right there because um, you don't hear about anybody going to heaven um, I'm going to be pounding a lot on that so if you're one of those that are sitting here and waiting to go to heaven you're going to get a shock of your lifetime um, but besides people go, waiting to go to heaven we have made the mission to be uh, we, we've called it the great commission and we have made it to be about getting more people saved, getting more people into Christ. And then, bam, it's what I'm going to be hammering most on because we have missed the mission. The mission is not to get more people saved. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, um, because probably you have been hearing this everywhere, and I grew up like that as well, and that's where this the church is sitting but in the next um videos that i'll be doing i'm gonna be showing you we'll go through scripture and everything and as usual you know you don't just take what i say you know my job is to provoke you and to make you question things so that you go into the bible and study the bible as you ought to you know um we need to stop being children you know most of those things are being saved to go to heaven and all all of that we tell children or uh, because they cannot handle the real truth they are not yet grown you know this is why even paul himself said that i do not um you know i i had to speak to you like children because you are not you have not become yet of age you know so that's what i that, that's what i believe that now the problem is that the kingdom of God is suffering as a result of us uh, just busy with this children stuff and we're feeling content with just church tradition, 
you know and we're feeling like um as long as people are getting saved and the worst part is we are not going out there to get people saved we are actually giving into the ministries and giving to pastors to go and do this thing wow and that is where another thing uh i do not blame even these false pastors even some good pastors who end up taking advantage of this thing because in Ephesians, it's very clear that the, the, the job of the ministers is to equip us to go and do the work, you know. But now the problem is that we are giving. I mean, it, 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 it's one thing for us to go and do the work. It's one thing for Creflo Dollar to stand there and say, give me a, 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 this many millions so I can buy a church, so I can go and do the, the, the work of God. No. That, that's not what, what, what God has called us to do. That's not what the, the pastors have been called to do. They're supposed to equip people to go and do the work. And then again, the work, it's not just to save people. We're going to get deep into that. I'm going to be opening up some scriptures and things that are going to blow up your mind. But then again, you know, the kingdom of God is suffering because you are not doing your job. You have thrown everything to the church and the organizations and the, and the pastors. And I'm going to be provoking you so that you may start doing what you have been called to do. You know, and you're going to get a shock of your life. Because all this time you thought of spiritual who are things. But just stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to give you more.